Hey guys, this is Maker of Beauty, also known as Olechka. I am the admin of a Krika Tips and Tricks group, and I just wanted to uh, give a, an in-depth video explaining some of the rules, or rather the logic behind the rules that govern this group. Um, our group has gone through a tremendous amount of a growth in the past two months, and I am getting more and more members who are breaking the rules or constantly asking, you know, why do we have this rule and why this is not allowed? And so this is me attempting to give um, a full picture and uh, it's also trying to utilize a means of being able to communicate to a lot of people all at once. Um, before I go into explaining the logic and the reasons behind each rule, I want to proactively tell you that I've been a member of a uh, number of uh, Cricut and just crafting groups in general for over five years now. I'm also a member in many mommy group and uh, groups related to um, other things. And I have a pretty good sense of what tends to work in the groups, you know, how admins tend to govern it and such. Um, and also, I had been an admin for this group for a couple of the years now. I believe we're coming up on a third year of existing as a group. And so I feel that I have a good overview of seeing different ways of uh, managing a group. I also have my own vision of what I'd like this group to be, what I'd like for it to be in the future, how I want it to grow. And uh, above everything else, technical quality content is very important to me. And that's one of the things that I strive for to have in the group. And so um, the set of rules that I had come up with, right, they are compound of uh, my experience, my vision, and also, you know, having an overview what uh, what would work for what I'm looking to do. Um, so without any further ado, let's jump in. Uh, you are supposed to have watched a video that is an introduction to the group that tells you where you should go to look for the group. So you should know that the rules live either you can get it to either clicking on about tab from um, here and just open it up the uh, see more or if you're on a discussion tab it will live on your right hand side um, what you're looking at right now is a new layout by facebook not everybody has been converted to it so you could still be on the old layout in which case your about section would be on your left hand side but in any case Let's jump in directly into the rules. And so the very first thing is, you know, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, thank you for joining the group. It's wonderful to have you here. And this is just gives you a little bit of, you know, what the group is all about. Um, because I want to be proactive and I want to help people to get a sense of what the group is all about and how the different tools available to the Facebook groups are being utilized. You know, I put together a little uh, video. I like, again, you know, by the, by the rule, you were supposed to have watched it, but I'm assuming that a good portion of people probably did not watch it. Um, okay, moving on. I really do not need to see, you know, everybody to be thinking uh, for being adding it. What tends to happen is that this type of uh, pretty much empty post, um, they tend to clutter the screen quite a bit. And what has happened is that people will unfollow the group because the content, right, the quality content and a quality post get lost all they see a lot of is uh, you know thank you for the ad what font is this how much would you guys charge for this and uh, it's kind of a you know for people who have been in a cricket world or a crafting world in, in general it's a most common asked questions it's the most extensively answered questions and it's on a constant repeat and people are just very, very fatigued. So anything you can do to contribute to the reduction of pretty much empty posts, that would be absolutely wonderful. And thank you for the ad is one of them. Okay, 
The next one is don't steal popular posts. This is very self-explanatory. What happens is that, you know, you will all, you will always have like one or two posts that just hit the spot for everybody. You know, I mean, maybe we're discussing a popular bundle. Maybe somebody asked like a very good technical question and a lot of people jumped in to help. Next thing you know, you got hundreds of comments on it and it's growing and it's growing. And then somebody comes in in the middle and says, by the way, I have a business page here's my link follow me that is a big no-no just don't do that it, it, it's impolite on so many levels so yes it's a rule because people have done it people do do it and I'm certain that will continue to do it if you can please 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 don't use graphics don't use GIFs too heavily and don't use cartoons. What happens is that the majority of Facebooks are actually strolling through their devices. They're using either the iPads, Android phones, you know, um, iPhones and so on and so forth. All these items, they take a lot of space. They take space, they affect the performance of your device. Um, it takes really long time for them to load it up. And if you end up having a very active a post again with a hundred some comments and uh, every other comment is a graphics of some sort it's just going to take a really long time for that thread to be loaded if not actually crush on you in the middle of the load i have that happen to me all the time even though my phone is fairly brand new and so if you just I don't know, you know, just type something in, you know, instead of the using the graphic, it will work so much better. Um, for my group, I very, very heavily invest into developing pretty good and solid, technically sound and on point extensive posts. I utilize the uh, popular topic in post feature and, uh, you know, um, as part of developing the group, a lot of thought went into trying to outline everything that the new users would need to know. And I also feel that at this point, right, Facebook has been around for quite a bit of a time. Um, you might be a new Cricut user, but it's very unlikely or it's very, it's most likely that you are not a new Facebook user and so you have probably been a member of other groups before and you should know or have some exposure to some of the features available in the group and those features right such as popular topics in a post or search this group they are present in any group you should use them you should utilize them i understand you are brand new and it's great to have your hand uh, held as you're trying to navigate through and I'd love I, I like to think that we certainly do that for the members in this group but at the same time you know exercising a certain level of independence I think it's a great initiative and uh, you know the, the the questions have already been answered they are there more than that because we have been around as a group for a couple of years and because you know we have had other new users at this point, we have generated an amazing number of really robust discussions. It would behoove you to actually take the time to read through them. And so, you know, I politely ask that before you ask a question, you know, just take a minute or two to take a look to see if it's already been answered. All right, moving along. Another very commonly asked question, actually several of them. And uh, where to buy shirts is one of them. You know just about every single time the um answer is always is going to be the jiffy shirts right or uh, sanmar well now like amazon is hopping on a game too but uh, just trust me when i tell you this is asked repeatedly several times a day every single day i see that in my own group i see it in other groups you know i mean this question has been answered in a million different ways if we can again not clutter the group with that that would be so much appreciated the same thing with um, asking what font is this majority of the time people will not know what font 
is it right they would actually have to do the legwork of going to either what what the, what the font is dot com or they would have to look and whatever app they've downloaded to look it up to give you that information so when you come in and there is no indication that you have tried to do any of the legwork and you just post a picture and the comment uh, says, what font is this? This is in a way like asking somebody else to do the legwork for you. Um, you know, I think the better question would be perhaps, can you please help me to figure out how to find what font is this, right? That's asking for help for, for to, to teach you so you can learn. But when you say, oh, can you tell me what font is this? That's like saying, hey, I don't really want to work for it, but uh, can you? It's, uh, you, you know, uh, like I said, I want to encourage the independence. Um, this is absolute no-no. I mean, people are going live, right, left and center. And this whole watch parties feature is absolutely terrible. Uh, all the reputable um, gr groups that I'm part of, they all have turned it off and I fully support that. When people share live videos without checking in, I delete them. I, you know, they will not be giving you a heads up or anything, it will get deleted immediately. All right, this is a biggie. We are living in a turbulent times. We all have very strong opinions. I respect every individual opinion. I welcome all of them. I have my own opinions. With that said, this group is specifically for crafting. I did not create a group for debating political debates, you know, or um, preferences on how to parent children or, you know, where you are on a social justice and so on and so forth. There are groups such as that. There are crafting groups that actually welcome those discussions, you know, and you should seek them out if this is what you'd like to do, you know, if you'd like to combine crafting and the uh, heat debates. But in this group, that is not something that would be welcomed. You absolutely can share your crafting product with us, right? And it can display your political belief, your religious preferences, where you stand on the social issues, you know, but because, you know, you cannot divorce yourself from the um, who you who you are from your craft. I absolutely understand that. And you can ask, you know, oh, I want to make this shirt. You know, I want to make it in a glitter. That's going to say, I, I love the president. I don't love the president. You know, where can I get the glitter? Everybody is welcome to answer to you where they can get the glitter. But it's not welcome to start telling you, oh, but you are terrible for liking, disliking, and so on and so forth. Not in this group. So please stay classy and stay crafty. Okay, this is a biggie one. I have dedicated several posts explaining why it's a big no, 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 no to convert images into SVGs. This topic is very heavy, guys. It is not okay to grab an image from Google, uh, you know, when you just go to the images.google.com and uh, try to pull it in into design space and convert it. I mean, the problem is that um, a great deal of the files get stolen from reputable designers on a regular basis. And uh, yes, they end up on a Google, but that does not make them free. And when you grab it, and when you try to clean it up, so many different things happen, it, it, you know, besides the ethical issues and concerns and copyrights um, um, violations, you know, the quality would also suffer. But uh, more than that, right, for you to ask for somebody else to do that for you, that's just a no-no. Um, you know, if if you want to like convert your own personal image, like a photography of yourself, into the SVG because you want to cut it um, and put it on the you know uh, as a present for somebody, you know, I included a link to a great tutorial that walks you through the steps on how to do it. And if you guys have more questions about this topic, like I said, I have a couple of posts dedicated to it, and you're always welcome to reach out to me directly. 
do not post affiliate links and referral links. The reason to that is because not all of them are kosher. Um, and I just don't have the bandwidth to regulate and watch and double check and triple check on every single one of them. Because I'd like for people in this group not to get um, ripped off and uh, the ripping off happens on a regular basis. So the only way for me to stop it is just please don't do it. With that said, I am an affiliate, uh, uh, I am an approved affiliate with a couple of the places, but they are fully disclosed. It's not hidden. It's out there for you to see, and uh, I'll be happy to tell you where to look for it, which would be in the admin posts. Okay. Now, please, 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 please do not promote other crafters, groups, stores, pages, blogs, and website, okay? All of that information is available out on the Facebook. I mean, you go out to the uh, search Facebook um, bar, right? You type in Cricut and set it to groups. You're gonna get so many of them. All that information is out there. Um, so that's number one. Two is that, you know, again, um, this is not something that I want to be to police for people. Was, uh, while there is a great deal of a wonderful, reputable cricket groups, and if you guys want to join other groups and you want my opinion about some of them, by all means, you know, send me direct message. I'll be happy to chat with you about that. There is also a number of the dishonest groups, you know, there where people do a lot of some very shady business. And uh, I, you know, I would hate for you to come to my group and learn about that group from my group. Group. Uh, you know, my I, I do care that people don't get are not being taken advantage of, and the only way for me to ensure that people are not being taken advantage of is to just you know have a an all encompassing rule that says please don't do it here. This is you know my contribution to trying to keep people safe, because you would be. You know, if you're a new person, new to the world of crafting, um, if, if you're new to crafting world, there is a lot of scamming that takes place. And, uh, you know, it, it's not something that you would even understand and be aware of, you know, until you become more experienced. And so I like to do my due diligence and try to keep people safe from being scammed. Okay. Then, uh, let's see, no direct sales in the group, right? Again, I do not want to sit and police every single post that mentioned the sales. I do not, you know, have the bandwidth to validate that every single person who is offering sublimation transfers or vinyls and so on and so forth is legitimate. Uh, you know, with that said, I do want to support the small businesses. And from time to time, I will post the uh, promo post. I give specific directions on how to advertise yourself and that is a great venue that's an appropriate venue and it's a poor supported venue in this group if you are confused if you need some clarifications or if you have an input for me you know um, then just please send me direct a message i always check my messenger and i do go into my uh, active request for the connections uh, folder as well to make sure that i'm not missing anything and at last if you're going to start your post with, you know, please delete if not uh, if it's not allowed. Well, you know, most likely it's probably not allowed, and most likely it will be deleted, because what that tells me is that you did not bother reading through the rules. Because if you did, you would know that I strongly encourage you that if you have any questions about the rules. Just send the message to me. And so if you didn't do any of that, right, then you're just kind of like winging and you're hoping that uh, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, get will get posted. And, and that's just a big no-no. It's a bit of a disrespect as well. And this one is pretty straightforward. You know, if you don't follow the rules, you will be removed uh, from the group. I will tell you this, guys. I don't just blindly remove people right off the bat unless they are straight up scammers. You know, they're the kind that want to give you for five five hundred dollars for just typing in that you want to stay home. Um, you know, I typically what I typically do is I will remove and the, the comment or the post and I will give the person a reason why I have done that. Um, and I will tell you that 99% of the time, 
people are repeated offenders and they will do it again and again and again and I have the uh, three, three strikes and you are out rule um, because you know if I had met you halfway and tried to explain to you where you can plug it in your sale and how you can go about it and you just completely disregard that you know you're disregarding my time the rules it's just uh, I can see that you're not going to be a team player and so therefore I'm sorry to say this but you have to leave okay this concludes the, um, I guess, a, a presentation on the rationale behind the rules. If you guys have any questions, please, 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 please send me a message. I'm very approachable and we'll have a conversation about it. Take care. Bye.